This is the E-Flight UMX P51 Voodoo, one of my favorite P51 paint schemes, and Nate wanted me to fly this for you guys today. But to be honest, my hand launching history is not good. But no worries because Nate put the optional landing gear on for me. So hopefully that won't happen today. And another plus is this is pre-crash. So that means I will fly it. Nate has already crunched this. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, that was totally my fault. Yeah, that's so bad. But honestly, oh. that crash was your fault, not my even the fault. plane's fault. So it's been a while since I have flown something like this. So let's get it in the air, see how I do with this plane. You ready? All right, Abby, you are clear for takeoff. Wow, hmm. wow that went up fast. Okay, that <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that was a lot easier of a takeoff than I was anticipating. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's ease off the throttle. All right, all right. It's a quick plane, isn't it? Very it quick is. little plane, but you're doing good. And now I You're definitely really am flying in safe. I love this one. I can see it. That's <laughs> it's not blue or white. The bright colors on airplanes, in my in my opinion, helps a lot. A yeah. lot. So right now I'm just putzing around. I'm not even touching the throttle. I'm only using my right stick. A bank and yank kind of thing. Where would you say your throttle's at about? 50 percent a little above 50. yeah i could okay. probably lower it a little bit if i wanted abby you're flying a plane I'm again flying. a pretty heavily crashed airplane to be honest nate said because if you guys remember he was pretty bound and determined i, I think we talked about it on the channel but he was going to get another one because he didn't i got it i got it he one. has another one so i was like well you don't need two so That's let right. me fly this one and then you can sell this one for really really cheap or if you love it, you can just keep it yourself. <laughs> we can fly the. We can fly. Yeah. Well, you, you tend to say this a lot about airplanes. You don't like to fly the shiny new ones. You, you prefer to fly them with the dents and dings on them. All right. Let's rudder. Get some rudder into the mix. Doing great, Abby. You're doing some figure eight kind of patterns and everything. Trying to fly close. <laughs> You're flying really close. Yeah, it's uh, the beginning of the video is a little bit of a challenge for me yeah, to yeah, track, yeah. but I've I've got the lock on it now. These little things are always very difficult. Yeah, you've lost them on camera before. So. I know. I, that's what I said. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of throttle with the wind picking up. Yeah. What a beautiful day now to fly. I'm messing with rudder. Yeah. Occasionally, my throttle is moving. It's flying good though, isn't it? All UMX planes, the, they fly oh, so the good. I love the checkered on the tail. It just really helps with orientation. This might be my favorite UMX oh, man. I've ever flown. I'm <laughs> trying to think what other UMX planes there are. I imagine flying that one that doesn't... The Radian, the A-10. Yeah. I just lost my flip-flop there. The A-10's a bit of a screamer, you know? And it's kind of fragile, too. It's probably one of the most fragile UMX planes out there. I can see why you crash this one. Like, we've got a we've got a call for eight miles out. That, that means us? yeah, we've got about ten minutes I though. We're okay. We're okay. Numbers. You're fine. I always forget the runway numbers. We're about so. ten minutes out, so we're okay. okay. Heads on a swivel. They called eight miles out. People always ask. Is this abandoned or whatever? No, we just have permission to fly here. We keep a radio on us. We're so we are, you know, we have had permission to fly here for years and years and years. Yes. We are sanctioned with AMA to fly here and we're working on that. Free, uh, all that good stuff. All that thing. Actually, our buddy Mark Radcliffe is helping us with that. And um, there's a bit of a call to action regarding the Freya that uh, Matt, right? Isn't that his name, Matt? Well, you just met him. This yes. is uh, at the a AMA. representative with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. We just met him at the Fun Fly. That's right. And what did he tell you? Well, there, for anyone that wants their voice to be heard regarding the Freya, there's a call to action. We'll have that linked in the description box below for AMA. If you're an AMA active member especially, and you're not a fan of these changes in our hobby, 
then your voice can be heard. And um, Matt's working on a lot of things right now, but that's one of them. And as I learn more details, I'll try to maybe pass some of that information along here on our channel. I think one it's really important. One of the important. things he's working on, if it passes, is going to be an increase. really cool. Yeah. And it's going to change the hobby quite significantly. Well, because, we it's, it it, because it's something that's been the same for a long time. Uh, but yeah, I won't disclose any details just yet because I want to make sure progress is made on it before I get anyone's yeah. hopes up. So there's a lot of fear mongers out there that don't get their facts straight they take one little bit or one little Nugget. headline mm -hmm. and they spread it as truth instead of doing their whole research and so it's really cool to have met this guy because he's going to washington himself to support the hobby and to advocate for our hobby so i just think that's really awesome that we Me got too. to meet him yeah. and so now we're even we're going to have an even more uh, insider scoop of what AMA is fighting for with our hobby and what they're doing for so our hobby. So okay. hopefully we can pass that info along to you guys. I'm going to get ready to land. I don't see the pilot. No, I'm no, and I don't hear his plane. He sh he's not even five I miles like out. Yeah. Land. yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to cut the throttle, nose down. Good luck. It's not out. a... Oh, it oh, really wasn't out. bad, Abby. Not bad. Whoa. Considering how roughed up this plane is, that's that was a good landing, honestly. Thanks. So if you're interested in learning more about AMA, we'll have that link down in the description box below. The main benefit that we enjoy from it is the insurance. It keeps us safe when we're flying. So if God forbid we were to hit something, we are covered and insured. So that just gives us peace of mind while we're flying. So if you're interested in joining, that's linked down in the description box. So this is the battery I was flying on a 3S 300 milliamp 30C Spectrum LiPo with the JST plug. It works really well. And I was flying on Nate's NX8 Spectrum transmitter today. I'll have all of this, the plane, linked down in the description box for you guys to check out. Clicking that link helps support us and our family. And if you click that link and then buy anything on the website right after clicking that link, it helps support us even more. We make a very small commission off every purchase if you click that link and it helps support us, our channel, our family, and we're just so thankful if you do that. All right, I'm happy successful p51 flight of this cool umx voodoo i've never flown this paint scheme that nate has oh, before you've, you've never flown that plane that was your well, that was your maiden plane flight. or this paint scheme yeah. of the p51 so i think that's just really cool another little another little check mark off my you know list of first a so. notch on the belt i don't wear belts but okay <laughs> <laughs> i like check marks Oh, I love the way this looks. I'm just so happy I got to fly it. Maybe next time I take this out because I don't know if I'm going to allow Nate to sell this now. <laughs> I will probably feel a lot more comfortable to take this out of safe and try some rolls and loops with it. Well, this was a lot of fun. For a beautiful day, the wind died down actually while I was flying. Crazy. But it just picked up again. So for holding the wind off for me, I want to thank God because he's in control of that. And so he gave me that good flight and I'm just so thankful to him for that. I also want to say a huge thanks to our patron family members. You guys are the backbone to our channel and the main reason and the main encouragement to me to continue flying. So I want to thank you guys for that so much. I will have Nate's flight of the UMX P51 Voodoo popping up right about now for you guys to go check out. We'll see you over there.